Buckle up. Gas prices are on the rise again and are expected to go even higher this summer. With the current average gas price up over 20 cents just in the past month, will drivers be able to catch a break soon? Let's bring in AAA Northeast Senior Manager Robert Sinclair Jr. to discuss. Always a pleasure to get some of your insights. All right, tee up the summer travel season for us. Is there any reprieve in sight? Maybe not in the short term. Um, we're seeing the effects of the summer blends of gasoline, which are more complicated to refine and distribute, sending prices higher, up 25 cents per gallon in just the last month. Prices generally top out sometime in May, June, or July. So uh, we might be seeing that coming up soon. But uh, I think demand is going to be the one thing that can affect prices either going higher or lower, uh, particularly with demand in China coming back. Uh, some analysts are saying that uh, because of that, there's going to be a 2 million barrel per day uh, increase in demand. But American drivers don't like higher gasoline prices. I think back to a survey that we did back in March of 2018, asking drivers what the pain point was for the price of gasoline. And back then, during a better economy, 40% said $3 a gallon. We're at three sixty eight dollars now. So I think there'll be some pullback as far as demand. And we're seeing that at least in the short term. So uh, it remains to be seen. It's a very, very fickle market, and things can uh, play into prices going higher or lower very quickly and very easily. And, and Robert, on the demand front as well, we've been talking this week about air demand, airline travel mm -hmm. demand, which seems to be pretty robust. People are still getting out there and traveling. Are there any implications for um, driving vacation demand also. Are we still in this sort of, I don't want to call it revenge travel anymore, right? But but it, it does feel like there is this desire for people to get out there, which implies there are going to be a lot of cars on the road. Yes, um, and AAA is one of the largest major leisure, largest leisure travel agencies in the country, and we're seeing robust demand for air travel, particularly international travel, people going to Europe, uh, Mexico, and the Caribbean. You know, 90% roughly of summer vacation trips are made via the motor vehicle. So I think there is still that pent up desire. People are still going to want to travel and drive to their destinations. The higher gasoline prices might play into the fact that they shorten the distance of the trip or the stay at their destinations or maybe cut back on the activities um, at their destination. But you know, it's just something, it's it's the American rite of passage to take that road trip every summer. So I think it will happen, but there might be some pullback. Um, it really depends on where prices are going. You know, I, we're a lot cheaper than where we were last year. You know, we got up over $5 a gallon uh, last June 14th. Uh, we're not there, but, you know, our, our surveys that we revisited last March said that drivers don't like gasoline. 60% of drivers don't like $4 a gallon gasoline and 75% don't like $5 gasoline. And we're getting up there. So a lot remains to be seen what's going to happen. How far are we away from electric vehicles being part of the great road trip for the summer? Probably a little bit far away. Uh, you know, there are 177,000 gasoline stations in the United States, about 109,000 electric power station par charging stations uh, but it takes two minutes to fill up your gasoline vehicle and it takes 20 minutes to get a good charge into an electric vehicle so that's 10 times longer so maybe we need 10 times the number of charging stations and the infrastructure investment and jobs act has put aside five billion dollars for uh, 500,000 additional charges so that'd get us up to about 600,000 so that would help but that's going to take time um, also, we're seeing at any given moment, maybe 10 to 20 percent of electric charges that are out of service, either because of vandalism or because of uh, equipment problems. Uh, vandals are stealing the wires from electric chargers and uh, selling them for scrap. So the, the Great American Road Trip by an electric vehicle is difficult to do. It can be done. I know people who have done it, but it takes a lot of planning and it takes more time. We're, we're still going to rely on the gasoline engine vehicle for a while. It's got miles to go before it sleeps. Yes, indeed. Uh, really interesting there. Interesting point on theft of different parts of those charging stations. Yeah. I want to talk to you much more about that, but we'll have to bring you back to do it. Robert Sinclair, thanks oh, so much. AAA Northeast Senior Manager, it's always good to get some of your time. Thanks very much for having me. Thanks.